The audio panel in After Effects allows you to monitor and adjust the volume of any audio source within the app. And it lives under the window menu, just like all the other panels in After Effects. Now, I've put together a comprehensive PDF of every single panel in After Effects, and you can download it for free down in the description. And for the entire month of January, everything on my website is 20% off, including my courses, tools, and course bundles. So take advantage of that sale while it lasts. But to show you how this panel works, I've just loaded up the music that I use for the intro of this series. So let me just play it back. And notice that we're getting live monitoring right here with the levels, just like you would see inside of another app like Premiere or any audio editing software. While I'm playing back, I'm getting a readout of the current level of volume measured in decibels. And there's these two yellow bars that show you where the max volume is over the last period of time. And each one of those bars represents the left and right audio channels. Now we can see the audio waveforms for this layer if I double tap the L key. L once gives you the audio levels, double tapping L gives you the waveform. And if you hold shift and press L while the waveform is visible, you can get both at the same time. So this is just another visual readout of those audio levels. And if I play this back and grab this center slider, I can click and drag this down. And as soon as I let go, it drops that audio level. And if I stop the playback, those waveforms are also dropping. And notice that has adjusted the audio levels for that audio layer. So this is an interactive control for the amplitude of the audio levels. And I can even split the difference between the two. So grabbing that left channel and bringing it down, that adjusted the average of the middle slider, but we can adjust the left and right channels independently. And because I'm increasing that so far, it's peaking. That's what this red mark is. Peaking is when audio is clipped. It's gone beyond the max volume and things are distorting and it doesn't sound good at all. So you wanna make sure that you keep things at or lower zero decibels. Now, let me just reset both of these back to zero because this is an audio track that was professionally mixed and leveled. So at its default, it's not going to peak. And this might take a click to clear out that peaking, but at zero decibels with no editing, this should never peak. But that's about all we can do with the audio panel. I just wanna point out one more thing, that when I adjusted the left and right channel separately, it split that audio levels out into an array for the left and right channels. And as far as I know, there's no other way to do this. I can't right click and say separate dimensions or anything like that. That is the only way to adjust the audio levels independently. Now, why you would want to do that within After Effects, I'm not sure. I don't edit my audio inside of After Effects, but it is a control that we have. I'm just gonna right click on the audio levels and say reset so we get back to that zero. And the only other setting this panel has to offer is under the hamburger menu, go down to options, and then this will allow you to change the units that you're displaying the audio in. So decibels by default, but we could also change this to percentage and click okay. And now our default instead of zero decibels is 100%. So that doesn't change our units down in the audio levels, but it does give us a different view in the audio panel. The only other thing in the options was the slider minimum. So let's go back to decibels and we can choose a minimum slider range. So let's just change this from negative 12 to negative 36 and hit okay. And now I can pull this down to negative 36. Audio can essentially be infinitely quieter. So that's why we're still seeing some audio levels even though it's at negative 36. And to see this in even more detail, you can increase this to be larger and then you're just gonna see more in between each step, just like frames on the timeline when you zoom in and out. But that's about it for the audio panel. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.